that God doesn't call the qualified. He calls the broken. He doesn't call the qualified. He calls the broken. He doesn't ask you to have a perfect family tree. He doesn't ask you to never have messed up. He doesn't ask you to have, to have everything figured out before God can use you. He calls the broken. Now, to be clear, this does not mean that we shouldn't desire to grow in our character. This does not mean we shouldn't desire to grow in our love for Jesus. This does not mean that we shouldn't desire uh, to grow in maybe certain competencies in our career and our job and things like that. Because God certainly uses us when we try to become better. We try to be, be in places where God can use us. Those things are certainly true. But even in that, it's always not about you. It's always about God using you. And this is the good news of the gospel. The gospel of Christ that Jesus came to do for us what we could not do for ourselves. The entire story of Israel throughout the Old Testament is that they could not measure up. They could not do for themselves what God is asking them to do. And so they would offer sacrifices day after day until Jesus shows up, who is the final high priest, who is the final sacrifice on our behalf, who was perfect in every way, who gave himself up for us, not because we deserved it, but simply because God loves us. The good news of the gospel is that those who are following and trusting in Christ, even in the midst of your doubts, even in the midst of your sin, even in the midst of your kind of questions and the, and the ways that you fall short, the good news of the gospel is that you do not have to have it all together. You do not have to have it all together for God to love you and for God to use you and for you to experience God's presence. 